Hello everyone, I am Nitij and today we are diving into a crucial aspect of React development which is using the effect hook. So if you have ever struggled with asynchronous functions in use effect, then this video is for you. In this session, I will show you common issues and best practices in using the async functions along with the React's use effect hook. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So this is the common usage scenario of the use effect hook where we simply call use effect by providing a callback function and either a dependency array or nothing. Now based on the value of the second argument, we know how many times this callback function is going to be called. If it is an empty array, then it simply means that this callback function will get called only once in the beginning when the component mounts for the first time. If it's empty, then with every component update, this callback function is going to be called or we can write some dependencies over here in this array to make sure that whenever one of the values in the dependency array changes, then this callback function gets called. But that is not the important thing. The important part for this video is how do we call an asynchronous function when we are using use effect? Now the common pitfall with most developers is they try to simply write async keyword with this callback function. Now this is not going to work and React is going to throw an error. So as you can see over here, it says destroy is not a function. Now what does it really mean? I mean destroy is not a function. What is destroy and why is it not a function? Let me tell you what this error really means. So when we use an async function directly as a callback with use effect, then the problem that React is going to encounter is how to do cleanup when the component unmounts. So if you don't know already from any use effects function callback, we can return another function which can have code to do any kind of cleanup like event unbinding or releasing network resources like unsubscribing etc. Now every async function in JavaScript returns a promise. So we will not be able to return a function directly. Whatever we will return from this async function is going to be wrapped up in a promise, which simply means that React will not be able to call this return value as a function directly. And that is exactly the reason you are seeing this error. Now let me zoom in into the console message as well. It says warning use effect must not return anything besides the function which is used for cleanup. Again, like I said, your async callback function is always going to return a promise. If you ever want to return a cleanup function, then it is going to be written or wrapped up in a promise. Now, what could be the solutions or workaround for this problem? Because if we want to fetch any kind of data from the server, then it has to be done asynchronously. And if we cannot use async directly with the callback function, then how can we fetch the network resources? Let's first remove this async keyword from over here. And what we can essentially do is we can write an async function within the callback function. So this async function fetch data, this can be called directly from use effect callback function. Another way to do an asynchronous operation by the means of an async function in use effect is we can use an immediately invoked function expression like this. Over here, we can simply write an anonymous async function or async arrow function. And then our async code will be written over here. Async code goes here. We can also write a separate function and then use the promises by simply calling dot then and dot catch. So suppose we have another function with the name fetch data and it is returning a new promise. We can simply call fetch data over here and then we can chain the dot then and dot catch callbacks. So dot then and then dot catch. So with then we can get the data and with catch we will get the error but this is also one of the way in which we can use async function with use effect or if you don't want to handle the then and catch callbacks over here then you can simply call fetch data directly and mark this function as async and then do whatever you need to do over here like calling a backend api and then setting the component state when the result is available 
So each of these methods have their own use cases and the choice depends on the specific requirements of your component and the asynchronous operation you are performing. And that was everything about integrating async functions in useEffect. I hope this clears up any confusion and helps you write more efficient React code. Lastly, if you found this tutorial helpful, then please consider subscribing for more content like this. I am Nitej and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.